I'm making this video because I want your opinion. We've recently dropped one of the biggest updates that we've ever done for Quote IQ. Multiple new features that I want to walk you guys through in this video. But I want your opinion. What is Quote IQ missing? How can we make these features better? And what should we build next? Now, before we jump into it, let me know down in the comment section below what CRM you guys are currently using. If it's Quote IQ, great. If it's not, let me know why you're not using Quote IQ or what these other CRMs have that you know are better. Because whatever it is, you know, we'll build it in, especially if it's something that'll help out a lot of people. Our biggest goal with this is to be as transparent as possible and to help as many people and to make this as best as it possibly can be. So I got five new features for you guys. Absolutely crazy. Uh, the last one was probably one of the most requested things that we've gotten in a long time, and it will save your ass. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I do want to make you guys aware that we've actually made every single tier on uh, the Quote IQ website free now. You know, you can try it for a dollar for a month. It's now free for 14 days. So if you guys want to try Ultimate, Platinum, premium, whatever you want to try, you can try it now for free at myquoteiq.com, which will be the first link in the comment section and the description. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this one. First and foremost, uh, if you guys hadn't seen, we made a bunch of tweaks to the dashboard. I know we've talked about it a few times. This dashboard doesn't look as full because this is my test account, but uh, the tweaks that we made to the dashboard were actually uh, really awesome. That wasn't what we want to talk about in this video. The first one I want to talk about is Client Hub. Now, what Client Hub allows you to do is, is it's a centralized location for all of your customer communication. So I know for a lot of people, they have partners. And whenever you have a partner, basically all the customer communication comes through one person. So the other person's always you know, requesting things to be sent to the customer. And it's just not a good way to run business. So we wanted to give everybody the most amount of visibility as possible. So now you can run all of your communications through one central spot through Client Hub. As you guys can see here, you know, this is me communicating with myself. Hey, Justin, how's everything going? If you like to get on the schedule, please let me know. You can also send pictures through here. If you use the send through app button uh, within Code IQ, it will populate within the client hub, which is another beautiful thing. And then the last thing is, is if you have platinum or ultimate, you actually get this feature for absolutely free. So that's another huge benefit. Like I said, the two biggest reasons why we built Client Hub was to have a centralized location for all communications so that way everybody could be on the same page and everybody could communicate from with customers from one spot, as well as to get all of your business conversations off of your personal cell phone. We know how expensive it is to get like a whole new business line. For me, I pay like $300 to Verizon for two phones. And so, you know, I was like, dude, this is going to be way cheaper, way simpler, and just way better because everybody has access to it and everybody can see it. So Client Hub is the first one that I want to tell you guys about. It's something that I'm super excited about and it's something that I've been using a lot. One other thing with Client Hub, you actually get to pick your area code, uh, you know, so you can pick one that is close to you. So that way, you know, the phone number obviously is a little bit customizable to wherever it is that you're located. So for me, I have it as a Baton Rouge area code. And uh, for you guys, you can pick whatever one that is relevant to you. But you do get to pick your area code and uh, you can now have all of your client communications in one spot. The next thing I want to show you guys was another uh, heavily requested feature. And it was something that a lot of guys really want. And it has to do with the calendar. For anybody who hasn't checked out our calendar, I think the calendar is pretty cool. We have multiple views here. Uh, one of the things that we have here is, you know, days that something is scheduled are in gray, and then the dots is how many jobs you have scheduled on that day. We also have the ability to see how much money is going to be made on that particular day, but this is where the update is. So if we click in through the calendar, we now have this new screen here that's going to give us our start start time, our end time. We now have an on the way button, which was the feature that was being requested most. So now you can send your on the way text, and you can actually send this if you have Client Hub. It'll send through Client Hub, uh, but you can say, hey, we're going to be there in 5, 10, 15, 45 whatever amount of time it pre-populates with the text and then you can actually swap the callback number depending on whatever callback number you want to have listed so sending text especially the on the way text was something that was highly requested for a long time i'm super happy that we finally got it in here the other thing you know obviously we still have the phone number in here we still have the address so you can easily click through this works with maps so when you click the address it brings you right into your maps we also added a start timer button so now you guys can actually time your jobs and we're going to do a couple of cool things we want to at least uh, with the dashboard with this but now you're going to be able to know how long employees were on this particular job for how long it took and a couple of the dashboard metrics that we really want to tie in to support this is average time spent on jobs as well as I'm, I'm thinking that we can do a time spent on job divided by the amount of money that was made and we can give you guys some analytics on how much money that you're going to be making per hour or how much money you make a minute things like that so we're really excited that we have the stop timer feature just from the aspect of being able to time all of your jobs, but also for what it's going to allow us to do with the dashboard analytics to give you guys even more analytics on 
how your business is running. So obviously we got our complete job here. You can send text through the app. You can send text through the phone uh, with regards to the invoices. Uh, you can mark the job as done and you can mark the job as paid. Uh, another thing that we're going to have coming here is marking the job as paid. I know I've had people request like, hey, Justin, we can mark the job as paid, but we can't say how it was paid. So we're going to offer you guys a couple different options with regards to when you're marking jobs paid, you can mark them as you know paid through credit card, paid through cash, paid through check, whatever the case may be. So that way you can track that information. So that's something that we, we will have coming up soon. Uh, but just to kind of finish off this whole screen here, we obviously have the services listed down below the prices for each service. We have the date that it was scheduled as well as how long the job is going to take. And uh, we also put in a note section. So let's say that this customer had a gate code uh, that we needed to be cognizant of. We can enter the gate code here or, you know, if they have dogs in the backyard that, you know, we don't want to disturb. Um, we can also put that in here and then we can save this note and then this note is saved for uh, anybody else that looks at it or sees it or you can go back and just document anything on the job that's noteworthy. So we completely redesigned um, this preview for um, calendar events. So hope you guys like it. Like I said, two of the biggest things we had requested were on the way text as well as uh, people wanted timers for jobs. So now we have timers for jobs. I will tell you guys this. Another thing that we're looking to build in is employee time tracking. That's something that will probably be built here in the future. And then, like I said, towards the end of the video, I want to get your guys' opinion on what really needs to come next uh, and, and what you guys think Quote IQ is, is really missing. So with that being said, let's jump into the next one. This one has to do with the map tool. I'm telling you I'm saving one of the most requested ones for last. It's going to save your ass. But within the map tool, we now have a, a new option to add in multiple linear footage um, measurements. So before, as you guys know, you could measure a building, but then like that was it. So like if you wanted to create another linear measurement off of this, you couldn't. Now you can. So if you guys click into the side tab here, uh, you can then click linear mode. I would click mouse mode on because this allows you to do it easily with the mouse. And then from here, you can actually take multiple linear footage measurements. So as you guys will see, here's a fire lane right here. So that's one. If you wanted to measure this fire lane here, that's another. If you wanted to measure the fire lane around the building, uh, you could do that as well. And so this was not possible before. And now it is. So multiple linear footage measurements. And, and then you can see, you know, 156 feet is the linear footage that we took off of this. Even if you wanted to go ahead and measure your lines independently so you could see, you know, um, how much linear footage is on the lines or however you guys want to quote. Now you have the ability to measure multiple linear uh, footage measurements at a time uh, using the map measure pro feature. So that's another cool thing that we built in. Now let's get into another update that people have been asking for for a really long time. And that is signatures on estimates. So as you guys can see here, we have a quote IQ estimate. If we click the accept button, now a customer signature is, you know, required in order for them to accept the estimate. So uh, we'll just sign it here as bill. And then we'll click yes, accept. This is then going to process. And then once it's accepted, I'm going to show you guys what's even cooler than this. So now you have signatures on estimates in order for them to be accepted. We're going to go into the accepted tab here. I'm going to click into this estimate here. I'm going to click view PDF. And then what we are going to be able to see is the estimate PDF. We're going to be able to see how it was signed, bill signed it, and what time and date that they signed it on. So now every single estimate that is accepted is also signed. It's also a time and date stamp. So in the event that you have a customer that doesn't want to pay you or in the event that, you know, whatever the case happens, they, you know, they say, hey, we didn't accept it. Well, we have a signature now. It's time and date stamped on every single um, estimate PDF. So this was a huge feature that a lot of people uh, wanted to have, and now we have it. So now I need your guys' opinions. What's next? What's a big thing that Quote IQ is missing? What's something that we can do better? I will tell you guys this. We had an issue with a, a server where it required every single user to log out of the app and log back into the app. That has since been resolved. And, you know, anybody who gets like the spinning wheel of death within Quote IQ, then you just need to log out and log back in. It's unfortunate, but when it comes to, you know, some of the stuff with regards to technology, it's just the way things go. Sometimes they don't go your way. Sometimes they don't go as expected. And so, uh, you know, obviously we do our best whenever we're doing service work, but we also do our best with these, uh, with technology. And uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, if you will. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen that movie, but uh, if you can name it down in the comment section, I'll hashtag your real one. Uh, anyway, those are all the features. Like I said, one of the best parts about us doing this and us running this company is being able to ask you guys who actually run service businesses, actually use the software, what we can do better. I used to work for, I didn't work for them, but I was an affiliate. I was the top affiliate for one of the biggest CRMs out there. They never listened to anything I wanted to do. They never asked my opinion on anything. They didn't really want to talk to me at all. So that's why we ended up 
just going our own way. So anyway, you can also get 40% on every single quote IQ person that you recommend uh, within the settings tab within our affiliate program. So I'm not sure if you guys, if you love quote IQ and you want to recommend it, you can actually make some money with us as well. So greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you made this far in the video, comment down below how the cookie crumbles and I'll hashtag you a real one. And uh, I really appreciate your guys' support with regards to Quote IQ and uh, being patient with us as we build it because um, it takes a long time to build something really great. And uh, the amount of time and energy and effort and thought and everything else that goes into us building this is uh, pretty astronomical. Me and me and Mike spend a lot of time. Quote IQ is pretty much our life at this point. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.